Hey everybody, this is Gary with GaryBJr.com and I am excited to share with you another way to use Free Show or at least another toolkit that you can add to your uh, media team uh, adventure using Free Show. And basically, uh, I've gotten a request to uh, find out where I got all the Bibles that I downloaded uh, for my Free Show app. And what I can tell you is that it was a number of different sites that I got them from, and so I don't even remember. Uh, where I got them, but I did compile them all and I put them all on my website as a free download where you can get to, I believe it's seven or eight different Bibles uh, that you can get. Uh, let me see here exactly what it is. Uh, let's just pull this in. So it's just a media toolkit that shows you the English Standard Version, the New Living Translation, Amplified. New American Standard Bible, New King James, the Message, and the NIV Bibles, and you would just download them. And um, the files are all here. It shows you the the actual size. It's a safe place to get them. Uh, some of those places where you can go get them, sometimes it's difficult to navigate and knowing what to download and what not to. So I decided it was probably best to compile them together uh, and make sure that you feel safe doing that. Um, but once you download or once you get these Bibles or you get that that particular uh, free media kit. Uh, download you want to go into free show and then when you get to free show you can go over to scriptures down here at the bottom and once you get there you're going to see a bottom option on the left uh, drawer that says new scripture and when you click that it opens up with the API this is where you will find a lot of different listed Bibles that are included uh, if you want to download those that are a part of the free show API and they are a lot of different languages and things like that. So none of my Bibles speak a different language. They are all in English. But you hit over here on the right side and you say local. And they're all XML files. Uh, and I've always selected Zephania. It may work with OSIS, but I always click Zephania. And then I just go to where my Bibles are. And then I would just select one. <clears throat> and then you would hit open. And it would open up. And then what ends up happening is it will probably come up looking something like this. Where it says uh, English NAU. And so you have to make sure the, the one that you downloaded, you want to make sure to put that name in. So change the name. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say rename. And the one I downloaded was New American Standard Bible, the NASB. And I hit enter and it locks it in. And so then now when I show my scriptures, it'll update. So let me go here. Because right now it's got that English NAU, is whatever the name was that I had it as. But I'm going to go down to another version of the Bible and kind of reset that. So let's refresh. And so it's got New King James down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go back to a New American Standard Bible. And I'm going to play this. Let's see here. And it shows New American Standard Bible there. So that's the way that you would actually download and verified that your Bibles are working. You would just click on them and then just go to a certain scripture uh, and check it out. Make sure it's working the way that you need it to. Remember that you can uh, also go to my site and get a media toolkit for uh, the lower third script box that you've been seeing here. But you've got all kinds of other templates that are already pre-made. The ones, for example, like scriptures two, three, and four, those allow you to have multiple versions of the same Bible. So uh, any of these uh, Bibles that you want to include together as a collection. They have to all either be local Bibles or they can be all API Bibles. You can't mix API and local, but that's in another video that you can check out. But you can actually make a Bible um, comparison with two different versions and you would just go over here to your locals and check it out. So I've got a Swahili Bible and a King James. Um, I've got uh, American Standard and King James, but I could also make the New Living and the New King James based off of my local downloaded Bibles. And when I click on that, you would auto it'll automatically update your template or it should automatically update your template to be with the two. And so you want to make sure to go over to your templates and select scripture with the number two with it and that'll update and you'll be able to see your scriptures in that format. All right. Hopefully this helps you as a valuable resource. Like I said, my goal is to make this the best resource uh, for those learning free show. The developers of free show have done an unbelievable job. <clears throat> I've used a lot of different programs in the past and I'm grateful for those. But when I started using free show, I could tell this was completely different uh, than what I've used in it being so universal working on Apple computers and Windows computers, which is a big deal for me and the clients that I work with uh, and the small ministries I work with. But also the fact that it's free. Um, there are a lot of other programs out there that are free that are great. Uh, for me, Free Show is um, 
the next step up from where I've been with the other ones that I've used. So uh, I encourage you to check it out, and uh, I hope this is something that you can use uh, to make your ministry better. All right? So until next time, talk to you later.